So leo unataka tuambie wana Kenya kwanza please ambia watu ukweli. Mambo ya nusu mkate is not an azimio agenda. Sisi tunataka tuzungumzie mambo ya gharama ya maisha. Tunataka mambo ya unge ifanye nini? Ishuke. Tunataka mafuta wana boda boda hapa. Mafuta ifanye nini? Ishuke. Tunataka sukari ifanye nini? Ishuke. Hayo ndio mambo sisi tunaenda kuzungumzia people centered issues ambazo zitaboresha maisha ya wakenya. And that is where our focus is. Na ndiyo sababu tunataka tuambie yule balozi wa Amerika. Yeye anatakiwa akue neutral kama balozi. Ambassadors are not supposed to be partisan. They should be non-partisan. But we have seen the US ambassador being very partisan. In fact, she has almost become like a UDA spokesperson. Na hiyo tunasema hatutaki watu wa America waje watuambie hapa vile sisi tutafanya mambo yetu. At a time when we are embracing dialogue, at a time when there are delicate issues touching our nation, we want to discuss them as Kenyans. And one of the issues is the issue of IEBC, the issue of elections and electoral justice in our country. They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Elections are also like beauty, they're in the eyes of the beholder. Ambassador Meg thinks the 2022 elections were the freest, the fairest, and the most credible. That is in her eyes, and the eyes of UDA. Lakini kama wana azimio, we think those elections were not the freest. In fact, they were not free. They were not fair. And they were not credible. They were the most incredible elections we've had in the, in the Republic of Kenya. Because we've never had a split commission. It's like a hung jury. Three commissioners said Ruto Ameshinda. Four commissioners said no, it is not true. Where we have a commission split, democratically the majority should have their way, the minority their say. In this case, the minority had their way. Isn't that incredible? And that is why we are telling Meg, on matters elections, these are very sensitive issues. That is why on the Kenya Kwanzaa list, IEBC and elections is on the list. On the Azimio list, IEBC and the electoral justice issues are on, the, on our agenda. So let her allow us to dialogue as Kenyans, to resolve our issues as Kenyans, let her not be a cheerleader for UD and William Ruto. She, she must remain neutral. And this is a message we send Senator Coons to take back to Washington. We know the senator is in town and is a senator of Delaware, Biden's senator. If it was our wish, we would have sent him back with Meg. But we are sending him with a message that as, as Mio, we are not happy with the conduct of the American ambassador in the Republic of Kenya.